I get a lot of questions about my lathe. This is a Grizzly GO750G. Uh, it's what they call a gunsmithing lathe. Um, I'm pretty happy with this lathe. It's a good deal for the money. It's not a Cadillac, you know. Uh, it's got little little quirks to it. Uh, I've had to do some things to improve it, but nothing major. Uh, the most annoying thing I'm going to address today is uh, something that's not a, not obvious at first, but uh, a real lathe that a machinist would use full time. They leave room here. They curve this. They extend the uh, the headstock out so that your chuck key doesn't interfere with the, the gearbox or, or whatever's driving your lathe. On this lathe, I can't spin the chuck key right there. The only place I can spin it is when the, the chuck key is perfectly vertical. Uh, even if I have it horizontal, there's not room to spin it. And that's really annoying, especially when you're trying to use a four jaw chuck. Uh, this is actually kind of nice to use as a shelf. It's a great place to keep all your tool holders, but the chuck key is low enough that it's getting in the way there. Uh, when it's particularly tight and I loosen it, it it'll turn and it, I'll end up hitting the tool holders, hit my hands, bust my knuckles, that kind of stuff. And, and the other thing is there's nowhere to put the chuck key. Uh, there's no holder for it. I also have a couple Allen wrenches up here that I use to do the cap screws on my tool holders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new chuck key that's long enough and big and a little bit bigger so that I can get a little more torque on here. This is a little small and it, it hurts your hands when you're when you're wrenching on it. Um, so I'm going to make it longer so that it'll swing around here and not interfere with anything. And then I'm also going to make a tool holder for it over here. And then also a little holder for these uh, two Allen wrenches that I'm using all the time. So I'm going to use this piece right here. This is a uh, carbon steel. I think it's 1045. I don't remember, but I want something a little tougher than mild steel. All right, I'm going to turn it down to 900 thousandths. It's an inch right now. So this is going to be the upper part, the handle is going to go through there, the part that's still in the chuck, I'm going to taper down to the head. That'll be this part here that tapers down to the square. I measure the other one, it's about a 15 degree angle. So now basically I get my angle with my compound here that's moving the cutter in this direction and then I'll feed it in. use this tubing to make a holder for it.
going to go ahead and tap this into position with a brass hammer. That's looking like a chuck key. I'm just eyeballing it parallel to the vise. Tampering the end a little bit. I may not even do anything with this handle. It's staying put very well. Alright, I just threw this together real quick. It's just a piece of flat sheet bent with a 90, two holes in it for my uh, Allen wrenches, welded to a piece of tubing. Nothing pretty, just functional. Okay. Allen wrenches. Chuck key. Lift it up high enough that uh, tool holders can be underneath it. It's not going to interfere there. I can put it on my chuck. It's not going to interfere here. And I can swing it. That is going to be so much nicer. And the handles are bigger, so it's not going to hurt as much. I made it a little longer, so I've got a little more torque. That is a nice improvement. But real improvements that I've done to this lathe. One is uh, the way they had this handle attached. It was actually screwed in there. Uh, and this wasn't the end of the world, but it was, it was annoying. When, when your tool is on and you cranked this down, the handle was facing out here. So it was just awkward to uh, to tighten, and it was just it, it was kind of in the wrong way. It was pointing towards your work, and uh, the way this thing's built, there's no adjustment. I took it apart. You you can't adjust where that goes. So I just drilled and tapped a new hole here, so that the handle would end up where I wanted it. Uh, and when you're in this section, uh, it tightens there instead of this way. That wasn't so bad when it was pointing towards the work. I found it pretty annoying. These collars on the uh, the hand cranks that you use for doing your measurements uh, came with cap screws in them, so you had to use an Allen wrench to adjust them. So the ones that I used frequently, I just made a little, uh, I made a little screw, knurled it, and uh, that makes it a lot more convenient. So I can just uh, crank that down by hand now, real easy. Other than that, I'm pretty much using it as is, and uh, I don't have any complaints. I'm pretty pleased with it.